what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload a new video and if you're not already sis make sure you follow me on instagram at the hair life and the hair life official so you guys today i'm gonna be showing you how i made this u part wig on the sewing machine super quick and easy on this mesh ventilated cap i really hope this video is helpful to you guys because when i was looking i did not see too many sewing machine u part videos and i did not see any on a mesh ventilated cap so i hope this can be helpful to someone and if you guys are looking for mesh ventilated caps i do have these available for wholesale as well as adjustable elastic bands so just check my description box and the links will be down below all right so i'm giving you guys a good look at the mesh ventilated cap and i'm gonna grab my soft measuring tape you want to make sure it is this kind and not the kind that you measure your walls with so i'm just showing you guys that this cap fits perfectly this was a size medium mesh ventilated cap and i'm on a 22 and a half head so there was no need for me to resize because it fits perfectly so you're going to take the cap you're going to line up your middle line to the middle line of the canvas block so for our leave out i want minimum leave out for the u parts i only want one inch width and then for length wise we're going to go four inches back so literally minimum leave out this unit was not made to have edges out either and i'm going to show you guys what to do if you want to leave your edges out so i'm going to use my pinning gear metallic marker y'all already know if y'all have watched my videos before these are like two dollars for a four pack at walmart my favorite and they last a long time Okay, so you want your leave out area to be symmetrical. You don't want your one inch to be off. So this is why we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna mark at the one inch and then we're gonna mark at the two inch. That half an inch mark should be on your middle line. So I'm just gonna take my metallic marker and mark that off. And then we're gonna go ahead and get our four inches of length back. This is what you should have so far. You're gonna just take those T-pins out, get your measuring tape, start at the silver piece. Line it up on the front of your cap on both of your lines, and then you're gonna go back to the four. You're gonna make a line that lines aligns with the four on both sides of your measuring tape, and then you're literally just going to connect those lines straight down to the lines that you made for your width. And then when you get to the back, all you're gonna do is just make a U shape on the back of your lines. So after you finish those steps, this is exactly what it should look like. So now I have that silver piece on the back part of the U and I'm showing you guys, I'm gonna be making a line on the top on the half inch marks and at the bottom, we're gonna do one inch marks. Just because you want more hair at the top than the bottom and you wanna make sure you don't run out of hair. So like I said, the bottom up to the six, I did one inch lines, but once I started to sew, I realized I really could have started the half inch lines, maybe at the four or the five, but um, I'm just gonna continue to show you guys exactly what I did. So here are all my guidelines, you guys. I could not do my guidelines on camera. It was so hard to show. So I did have to do these off camera, but it's really simple. Just follow your line straight across after you make your middle line, just line them up to your sides. So I know somebody's gonna ask, can these same guidelines be used on different caps? So I did go ahead and show you guys a mesh dome. And then this is a fully ventilated cap. I did the exact same steps. So if you want your U part to go behind your hairline and you wanna make sure you leave some edges and stuff out, all you wanna do, you guys know, the mesh ventilator caps and the ventilator caps have these um, tabs over your ears. You want to cut those off. If you want to have this behind like that, um, like natural sewing type of look on your edges, then you're going to cut that middle piece off because it is like a little a wire piece and it will not be able to fold if you leave that on. So that little piece right there that I'm showing you guys, you want to cut that off. And then you can either cut your ear tab off or you can fold it back and just sew it down. 
So for this unit, I'm going to be using our raw Indian curly extensions. I'll leave the link down below for you guys as well as the discount code. So make sure you guys check that out. Now, I had ordered a closure a while ago to test out and it didn't match the Indian curly at all. Um, but I do have raw Indian curly lace for you guys now, HD lace. So just check all of that out on the site. All the links will be down below. So instead of letting the hair go to waste, I'm like, you know what? I'll just use this for you part. Now this first weft, I did do a quadruple weft and my camera was not recording, but I just want to show you guys. If you do a quadruple weft on a mesh ventilated cap or a ventilated cap, you want to make sure you reinforce both the top and the bottom. These type of caps do have adjustable straps built into them that loop is where your strap goes into so when you're sewing you want to make sure that you do not sew that down so just keep that in mind when you're making your guidelines all right you guys so now it's time to sew and i'm just showing you guys you're going to use a zigzag stitch on the mesh parts of the cap and you're going to use the straight stitch on the plastic part of the cap you do not want to use a zigzag stitch on the plastic part because it will be hell trying to get that plastic off when you're done so like I said, you wanna make sure you're doing a zigzag stitch on the mesh part and a straight stitch on the plastic. Now, if you're doing a double weft, I was trying to show you guys, I think I might've gotten up close, but I was showing you guys right here. You wanna make sure you're stitching down on that top weft. So like I said, again, if you have a double weft, make sure that needle is penetrating your top weft. Right here, I'm just showing you guys a reminder to not sew your loop down so if you need to fold it backwards and get it out of your way then that's what you need to do so i'm just aligning this weft and you guys see i'm doing a single now for your single wefts i personally feel like single wefting on these caps is a little bit more difficult because you have to make sure that that needle is going directly through your weft so if you need to hit the back stitch a couple times and get back online when you get to the plastic part that's perfectly fine and I just want to say, always make sure you guys are backstitching the beginning of your weft. And when you're ending off your weft, always make sure you are backstitching at least three times. But I like my wigs, my clients' wigs, I like them to be able to last them for years. I don't want anybody having any issues with tracks coming loose. So I'm not even going to hold y'all. I go a little crazy on the backstitching. My backstitching is probably like four to six times. Okay, okay, I'm feeling too sexy to accept request. And I'm way too sexy to go on protect you. And she popped a Tesla, now she gonna let you. Okay, alright, that's fine. Okay, think we got too sexy for that metro house. Diamond popped out, almost swallowed 60,000. Section need more things in here, I like it crowded. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I like it crowded. Oh, you like the boy? Well, tell me what you like about him. You a turned a little dotty, ain't no wife about it. I'm gonna fuck her friends and send them back to Metro Housing. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm just making sure I cut off the excess thread on both sides. You're gonna have pieces of thread on your top and bottom, so you just wanna make sure you snip those off. And then I'm gonna show you guys both of my loops are nice and free they are not so down um, my straps will easily be able to go in and i'll show you guys how to do that at the end and then i'm going to show you guys now i've done a quadrupled weft i've done a double weft and a single weft and they're all nice and flat no lumps no bumps okay so now we're at the part where the adjustable strap is you do not want to have your adjustable strap down. It's just like the loop. You don't want to sew it down. You do not want to have to take these wefts down and re-sew. Like, that's just too much work, girl. So just make sure you have that adjustable strap back. I 
always like to just put my wig cap on my canvas head so I can make sure everything is nice and flat. And I'm just showing you guys those two guidelines that I told you earlier that I did skip. And then I followed the rest of the guidelines up. So like I said in the beginning, you can start your half an inch a little bit closer to the top instead of doing it in like the middle area where I did. So you're just going to continue to follow your guidelines all the way up. Now, once you get to the U-shaped guidelines, there's going to be a lot of stopping and maneuvering just to make sure you're hitting all of those curves. But it's literally the same thing, and you're going to use your zigzag stitch all the way at the top. okay so i'm all done sewing and this is what it looks like so it should look something like this when you're done sewing and you just want to cut around your u area you do not want to cut the wefts you want to cut that material in between your two lines and i'm going to show you guys a little small clip because i was filming for reels as well so i was trying to make sure i got footage for both and i also like to turn the cap inside out so i can see any extra threads you want to make sure you cut those off and like i said just make sure you're cutting on the edge of your weft to cut that little fabric piece how you do not want to cut your threads and if you want to to be extra careful you can get back on the machine and go back around that last weft one more time for some extra security i am going to add some wig combs in i'm going to show you guys the placement because i only was able to show you guys me sewing on one but this is what it looks like nice and neat everything's nice and flat i was super excited when i saw this i was like this looks so good so now I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic out. You want to get some tweezers and you want to rip those. Uh, you're going to have two threads. So there's one on the top and then one on the bottom that you really got to get in there and get. So you want to make sure you pop those and then you can stretch the plastic. It's going to break and then you can rip all of the plastic out. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and sew the wig combs on. So I get this big pack of wig combs. I believe it's like 100 or 200 that comes in the pack. It's linked in my Amazon store. I will link that down below for you guys as well. And I'm just going to show you guys the placement where I'm I'm just going to line that comb up to the edge where I showed you guys I'm going to sew it. And then I'm going to use a straight stitch. I do not sew combs down with a zigzag stitch. I feel like it looks better. And I just feel like it, it holds it down a little bit better. So for the combs, straight stitch. So yeah, here is the finished look of the wig. I'm showing you guys the inside. And I did wash this after. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you saw me post my favorite shampoo and conditioners for our raw Indian hair. So make sure you guys follow me. And I'm also going to be posting a video on how I wash this for you guys on here so you can see. 
and then I'm gonna show you guys what the hair looked like after I got done washing it. And I do let the curly hair dry upside down. It just really plops the curls together, as you guys can see, so beautiful. So don't forget to use the code raw hair at checkout on the website if you are getting some raw Indian curly, which you should be, because it's perfect for summertime, y'all. But I wear my Indian curly all year round. Like I literally love it. And if you want a wig made by me, you can also get that on the site. I will have all the links down below. And if there's something on there that you have a question about, just send me an email at thehairlifeofficial at gmail.com. The one at the bottom of my description is for YouTube. So if you have a business question, please send that to thehairlifeofficial at gmail.com. So yeah, you guys, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know down below. Leave me any questions down below. I try to answer them as quickly as I possibly can. So y'all can just see how bomb it is because it can also straighten, it can curl, crimp, whatever you need it to do. I'm telling y'all, it's so versatile, it's so bomb. So yeah, here's the pictures. Thank y'all again for watching and I'll see y'all my next one. Bye. See, I know that I'm a